Hey guys, Dan for World of Mr. Grey, Dan Dalf the Grey, back with part two of Bizarre Bub, debunking ghost videos and the paranormal with logic. Said it right this time. If you want to watch part one, I have linked it down below. And if you watched my previous real, really haunted video, you might notice that the first clip had classical music over it because I got a copyright from it. From a piece of music which wasn't copyrighted three years ago, but now seems it is. So I had to replace it, unfortunately. It's only for the, like the first two and a half minutes of the clip is bloody annoying but that is why it's only music and you can't hear me talking but the rest of the video the 48 minutes of the bloody video is fine now i can't remember last time where we got are we gonna see well we can see for those new here by the way uh these are more like the ones where i find oh, that's worth a debunk that's what's the point bullshit but i also do the debunking on the fly if i can but if i don't know i always say i don't know but i will give an opinion on it we skip this because I've done that. Oh no, we're, there we go, we're on number four. This next video was recorded by a security camera inside an apartment complex. Not much is known about this video, except that it came from this residential building where the little girl and her family reside. The video starts off with footage of the young girl playing by a staircase, but nothing noticeable can be seen on footage. Or at least, that's what the child's parents initially thought. It was only after watching this video multiple times that the parents were left horrified. Something was actually ah. captured inside this room. I'm not Take seeing it. Unless they haven't showed it yet. What are we looking at? probably a rat <laughs> look at the state on it look at the state on this that under under the stairs closet full of all kinds of crap on the floor i mean there's two things it could be right it's probably a rat and the reason why you can't see the rat you just see the papers or what have you moving is because it's such a low grade quality video and there's various artifacting around that when when you get like a video right and it's low quality it's from a distance. It's CCTV. I'm assuming the CCTV. Anything which is like from a distance, which is really small, if it's like slight movement, you'll see the movement, but you won't see the detail in it because of the artifact. In you'll you'll get like pixels popping in and out around it. That's what you get with artifact in, and that's all I can see on this one really. I can't tell you much more than that. Then there's something moving there. The cat is worried, but well, that's it. That's all I can say about that clip. It's. It's too much of a low grade quality video to tell exactly what it is. But I'm going to say it's a rat. So I'm just going to move on. And hopefully you could see it because my big fat head was in the way. I just realized. On Number August 23rd three. of 2023, George Cruz and his wife had just finished making dinner and were heading towards the living room to eat their meal. The couple sit close to each other while watching their favorite TV program. How do you know? Pass. How do you know they're watching their favorite TV program? They could be watching Jeremy Springer for all I know. Nobody likes that show. It appears that nothing strange is happening in this footage. But fast forward to just a few more seconds, and something happens that scares the living daylights out of the couple. It was recommended that they set up cameras around their home to capture evidence of the so-called paranormal activity, so the couple act accordingly. Weirdly enough, they were also told to get rid of a certain item inside their house. George and his wife own an old rocking chair, and apparently, this chair is the source behind all the activity. Now, I never get the cursed object thing. To me, it's really dumb. It's really dumb, that is. I don't know how an object can be cursed or bloody haunted, whatever. I'll never understand that. And then they sold it on Craigslist. <laughs> I mean, I can see the chair moving.
I'm sure I just saw a string then, but I can't confirm it. We'll go back to that now. Let me finish this clip. Eerily, the chair begins to rock back and forth before somehow other objects inside the house move on their own. Although terrified by what was captured, the couple is glad they had caught this. Now moments before an object falls down, the camera pans over to the shelf as though sensing movement in that area. If you believe that's what's happening in home, fair enough. There's an incentive to make these kind of videos, you know, look at my scary home. There's an incentive to make these. It might not be monetary, it might be uh, for notoriety, it might be. But there is one part in this clip, in this video, I should say. This part here. Now, I thought, so the problem is, again, once again, it's bloody CCTV. It's low-grade quality, and the problem with these CCTV videos, you can hide a lot of stuff in them. Because it's such a low-grade quality, if you see, if you get fishing wire, and you put it, like, a good enough distance away from the camera on a low-grade camera, you won't see that wire. No matter how hard you look, you will not see that wire. The only time you'll see those wires is it's when it's pulled tightly. And that's when you get a glint on the taut wire. Now, I think, again, I am not saying this is a debunk. This is what it looks like to me. But I think there's a, a glint of wire just underneath the table, which I will point out, hopefully. It's only there for like about two or three frames. If you look in this area, which hopefully I'll, I'll have zoomed in, I'll go step by step, ready? So it's normal, 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 and there. That little glint there, and then it's gone. Now, I'm not saying it's string. It could be, and that's what you usually see in these kind of videos, especially low quality grade videos. When a piece of string is being pulled, when it gets to a taut, uh, tension on the string you'll usually it'll usually catch the glint of a light source in the room and obviously reflect back and that's how you usually spot those things but I am not a hundred percent on this one so I so saw like I say I'm just gonna move on that's my opinion on it but who knows the channel is called magical poltergeist uh, YouTube or TikTok magical poltergeist uh, oh, a small channel it first started like this <laughs> Disturb Sorry, I hate, I hate that AI voice on TikTok. I can't stand it. Having <laughs> lost souls. It was never my intention to disturb anyone or disrespect anyone. Do you want to do magic in there? Oh, by the way, um, yeah, this guy is a magician. <laughs> I, I had a look at his channel and he does magic tricks also. I'm just saying. There's a connection there. I'm just saying. He would know what that magician's wire is. I'm just saying, folks. But I want to see what this haunting <laughs> is. So the story is the very first video they put up on Magical Poltergeist is called This is How This is How It Began Haunting They got hunting us. I'm assuming they mean haunting. And the lights are flickering. Probably faulty electrical. But maybe, I'm just saying, maybe going off that they thought, hang on, we could do something here. Let's start something, shall we? That's my opinion. And that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but he does do magical tricks for people in the streets. But anyway. In the following video, a man is alone at home when he realizes that the lights in his basement won't turn on. Feeling a bit scared, he walks down into the cellar with caution. According to him, it's not the darkness that scares him, but the basement itself. I get it. Basements are indeed scary. But if the light's not working, why would you just start filming for no reason whatsoever? For absolutely no reason. This is another thing you always got to think of. Why are they filming this? And I'm just not just saying in this particular clip, but in anything like this. I was home alone at night and I heard a knock, so I started filming. Why? <laughs> First of all, you'd get your bat out. You'd go search around your house. Or if you're too scared to do that, phone the police. Not make a TikTok video. I'm just saying. Noises anyway. such as footsteps or the sound of someone walking back I just and forth can be heard really coming quiet. from inside. This often happens when no one else is at home. Now the man had had this experience previously, but it was at his job. 
he works as a grave digger, and oftentimes, after placing a coffin inside a freshly dug grave, he would feel as though someone else was there with him. But he checks carefully, because, as he states, he just heard the sound of footsteps walking about as though someone is down there. Be sure to pay close attention, as well- Again, why would you start filming if you heard footsteps in your house? Why would you start filming? This, this always baffles me. The first, if, if I heard footsteps in my house, you could bloody- I could tell you something now. I'd be bolting down those stairs. Ready for a bloody fight. Let me tell you. The last thing on my mind would be think I need to document this. <laughs> what was captured wasn't noticed until looking closely. This is what was caught. What was caught? I'm ready. At the moment, in the basement, I swear, I keep hearing someone walk. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's kind of creepy. Laundry room still has power, so that's good. Well, we're going to see. But I'm the, ready for uh, it. The rest of the basement's power is completely out, which is very strange. I'm ready for a jump scare, by the way. I'm, I'm tense. I noise was, but... I just... I think I just saw what they're about to say, and did you see it? He's not nukes, but yeah. I don't know. I'm home alone I right think now, I just so. saw it. <laughs> <sighs> we'll see, I guess. I don't know. There's been a lot of strange things happening. Now, it happens real fast, but in case you missed it, if you look closely as the man pans the camera to the bathroom, you can see what appears to be a strange, shadow-like figure standing completely... It does look like a figure. It does look like a figure. He's in extremely low light. He didn't notice it at the time. And I'm going to guess, because he's filming through his phone, the light, unless you got a really, unless you got like a bloody thousand pound phone these days most phones they they struggle in dark areas even if you've got like a light source across the room if you're looking at a certain area the phones struggle in dark areas so he probably looked into that room himself when he was filming not looking at his phone and i don't know maybe it's like a, a dressing gown a towel anything could be anything but because the phone when the phone is trying to look at it because of, again, low quality camera in a dark area, it will try and fill in the blanks with all the artifact and blocky mess. And, you know, it looks like a figure. But he didn't notice it at the time. Or did he? <laughs> Still, inside oh, a bathtub, no it doesn't appear to be moving at all, as if who, or whatever this was, had been entirely stiff. Even creepier is that when the man returns to the bathroom, the figure is no longer there. Okay, now I'm convinced he's full of shit. <laughs> These kind of videos have been doing the rounds for about three years. You can look up any, you know, Urban Explorers have been bloody doing it now because their videos haven't been quite getting the views they wanted. They're like, right, wait, I'm going to do Urban Exploring, but there's a shadow dude in that corner, which I didn't see when I was looking there earlier on. You see these videos all the bloody time, and every time someone does it, they think they're so fucking original. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting angry at it, but I'm so done with these kind of videos. This is why I'm like, sometimes I don't want to watch top five videos because it's the same shit. And yes, I'm getting around here. I do apologize. Appearance. The man thinks that something supernatural was captured, but is all. In fact, look, you can see the shadow of the dude standing there now. 100% a dude standing in in his bathtub and i'm not even going to be about the bush i'm going to say it's his mate i'm busted moving on scary videos do very well on youtube very very well this, this is number one was no. taken inside an old restaurant that is currently being renovated the person recording this doesn't say where exactly this footage was taken and for good reason Aside from privacy, this place isn't safe to be in. Now the person recording this is someone who I featured in a previous video. They too have been experiencing strange happenings and believe that it won't stop unless they move out from home. Given their experience with this unusual phenomenon, they were invited to see this restaurant before it's completely demolished. What happens then is terrifying to say the Ready. least. This is what they caught. Oh, Why is he moving over. so fast? Yeah. Hello? I'm not going up there. Definitely not going back there. 
Oh wow, it, it is really cold right here. What was that? That's supposed to be a I shadow dude. Happy we're here. I don't know, dude. Initially, a strange shadow can be seen peeking from a corner. The man, whose name is Wen, doesn't notice it until much later, after feeling a sudden drop in temperature. I believe that to be a keyframed paintbrush inserted into the video. That's what I believe. <laughs> because there's parts of the video, when you go frame by frame, parts of the head pops in and out just past the frame. Frame of the window, I should say. So if you look, the shadow, hopefully I'm zooming in, is past the, the reveal of the frame of the window. Which to me tells it's been inserted, keyframed in to follow the movement. It, it I don't think you would use camera tracking on this one probably just keyframed her in and then there's that one little frame he missed that's what it looks like to me i am not 100 percent on this mind so i'm not going to say that's debunked that's exactly what it looks like to me though as someone who's done that many times and I, in fact yes there you go <laughs> it's keyframe see that little jump it does i'm going back frame by frame now see that little jump when the camera moves up it's because in those little three or four frames he forgot to do the y-axis on his keyframe in <laughs> that's what it looks like to me again i'm not 100 percent, so i'm not going to say that's a debunked video but it looks like it's a bloody keyframe thing to me because of the jump when, when you keyframe in something right perfect example right there you go uh where is it no i'm not going to show you all of this if you want to see this i think i put it up somewhere my little short little my little short videos I like making, but I I keyframed a shadow dude twice in this. It's not very subtle, but I'll show you what I mean. Right there. Right, so that's one. So basically what I did for that little shadow dude right there, there's another one in a bit now, but created a blob, blob blobular mess in Photoshop with the opacity on the brush dialed down. Insert it into the video, put it exactly where I wanted to crop the window out and then keyframe there in. Basically what you do with the keyframe, you, you place the shadow where you want it and for each frame of the video you move forward, then you move the shadow, you move forward again, you move the shadow, you move forward again. And you, you follow the frame of where you want that shadow to be and when you play it back in motion it looks like the, the shadow is there physically, you know what I mean, not physically but you know what I mean. So that's one part, right there. It's here. Ready? Again. That shadow, that little shadow dude right there, who gives me a little cat wail in the bedroom. <laughs> Again, that was keyframed in to follow the shake of the camera. There you go. And that's what I mean when I say a shadow dude has been keyframed into a video. And that's what that last clip on Bizarre Bub looks exactly like to me. Again, I'm not going to say 100% on that. But when you see, when you keyframe a shadow dude into a video, and you don't quite follow the exact part where you want that shadow, it's going to clip outside of the boundaries. Instead of going on the x-axis, you should have gone on the y-axis. Which in this case, he doesn't because you see the bounce of the shadow dude. When he's looking at the place. So if, to me it looks inserted. From my uh, small amount of expertise. <laughs> That's it. Um, I'm not going to name this a debunking video. This is a breakdown analysis video. I know I said debunking in the beginning. But I didn't know where I was going to watch. But yeah let me know in the comments what you think. Am, am I full of shit? Do I talk out of my anus sometimes? Or do you think I may be talking sense? But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you liked this video. Leave yourself new to my channel. I do this quite often. Yeah, and I'll be back soon. Don't know when, don't know how. But anyway, thanks for watching and bye for now.